English language conventions. Inappropriate verb tense. ACT Foundations, question 22. Me medicine, antidote your ignorance. ACT English Foundation, verb tense, question 22. Fix the verb that doesn't match the tense of the verb in bold. Under a palm tree that gently swayed in the breeze, Vicky takes a nap. Here's what I need you to understand. The tense of a verb tells you when the action takes place. Do not shift tenses within or between sentences unless you need to reflect a time change. Let's take a look at this example. Rachel grabbed the microphone and speaks to the crowd. The featured verb grabbed is written in the simple past verb tense. So we know the speaking also took place in the past. However, the verb speak is written in the simple present tense. There is no need to reflect the time change. Both verbs should be in the same tense. Shifting the tense of the second verb to its present tense form is incorrect because it creates inconsistency in the overall tense of the sentence. Change speaks to its simple past tense form to restore consistency. So there you have it. We've changed speaks to spoke and this is correct. All right, now back to our original example and now for the solution. Look at the bold verb swayed. It is written in the simple past tense. So we know that Vicky's R and R also took place in the past. However, the second verb takes is written in the singular third person present tense verb form. There is no need to reflect a time change. All the verbs should be in the same tense. Shifting the tense of the second verb to its present tense form is incorrect because this creates inconsistency in the overall tense of the sentence. Change takes to its simple, singular, third person, past tense of form to restore consistency. And here you have it. We've changed takes to took the simple, singular, third person, past tense form. I also want you to note that many third person singular present tense verbs as a tongue twister and plural nouns have opposite rules of formation as it relates to pluralization. Third person singular present tense verbs take an S at the end as in takes whose singular subject is Vicky whereas plural nouns take an S at the end. I don't see any plural nouns in this example sentence so let's use my favorite example cookies. Here we see multiple cookies, hence the noun ends in an S, thus demonstrating the opposite rules of formation as it relates to pluralization for third person singular present tense verbs and plural nouns. Mm -hmm.